evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Marie. Good evening. <clears throat> Good evening. Hello, people. Welcome one more time. Thank you for being on time. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, last night, retailer, because I am in hot in the. Bueno, mejor se lo digo en español porque. <laughs> <laughs> no me sale. Este, anoche me tuve que retirar porque me encuentro un poco mal de salud. Entonces, oh. el reflejo de la computadora me molesta un poco. Ah, oh, ok, ok. Pero aquí <clears throat> ok, I understand. Okay, let's get it started tonight. So welcome one more time. To our English class. Okay, let's take the first attendance. So please turn on your cameras and say presente or present. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present teacher. Welcome. Brian Javier Carmona. Present teacher. Excellent. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro. 
not yet. Frida Janine Mejia, not yet. Javier Aldair Escobar, uh, Jose Arnoldo Mazariego. <laughs> okay, I'll wait, I'll wait. Okay, let's go back. Dinora? No. Frida Janine Mejia? Low. Low, Frida. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Javier Aldair Escobar. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Arnoldo Mazariego. No. Jose Galileo Barrera. Present teacher. Good. Jose Jonathan Vigil. Present. Okay. Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. Present teacher. Good. Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Present teacher. Okay. Laura Carolina Vigil. Present teacher. Good. Maria Concepción Cerón. Present. Excellent. Maria Ivania Palma. Present teacher. Excellent. Mauricio Antonio Orellana. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Mayra Veralice Moreno. Rocío Lourdes Pimentel. Zaira Marleni Larín. Present teacher. Okay. And Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Well, last class, we finished with some symbols or signs uh, because we were talking about the imperative and usually we read the signs with imperative. For example, don't, don't smoke, or <clears throat> do not run, or wear a helmet, etc. So that, so the symbols or signs are a, a representation of, of, of um, imperative, sentences okay so uh i like to start with that i don't know if you have time but if not so we are going to talk about that tonight okay okay i show you this list of symbols and I want you to tell me, so what do you think? Maybe you don't know exactly the, the name, the, the meaning of the symbol, but we can guess. Podemos adivinar. Vamos a tratar de adivinar acá. Okay, so what do you think is number one? No parking, teacher. No, no parking. Is, is done or not parking? Uh, it could be no parking or do, don't park. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Number two. Don't smoke. Don't. No. That may be number Fear. three. Uh, number Fear. three. Do not use open fire. Don't. 
Uh, okay. Do not use open fire, says Laura. Um, or oh, do no fire, teacher. Do not fire no or fuego. no fire. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. So, okay. Number four. Maximum three people. <laughs> No more, no more. El cuatro, Brian. Number four. Javier es la cosa. I have four. No more three people. No okay. more than three people. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> o máximo, máximo three people, teacher. <laughs> oh, no. I would say don't use. O capacity maxi, o algo así. <laughs> Parece un elevador, teacher. Yeah, it's, a, it's an elevator. It is an elevator. Okay. So it maybe it says elevator. don't use elevator or, mm. or no more than three people, as you said. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> okay. No, no board, border, dice. Border como no abordar tres personas, mm. algo así. Um, <laughs> okay. And number five. Ese, danger. Sí, danger. Danger. Keep out. Podría danger. Ser. Keep out. Caution. Era, era no permitido tres personas en la cama. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is not a bed. That is not a bed. Eh, eh, uh, depende depende de, 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 del modo que lo vea, dice. <laughs> no tríos, no tríos. <laughs> Ay, hey, no. come on. Que, que yo, Jonathan, creo que, ¿verdad? <laughs> <laughs> Tiene okay. gran imaginación, imaginación. <laughs> Number six. Oh, el seis, pusimos. Mm, da, mm, inflame, inflamer. Uh, eh, matter. Ah, uh, uh, flammable. Okay. Matter, materials, algo así. Materials, okay. And number seven, what is number seven? Um, collapse on. Nice. What? Okay. Collapse, col collapse on, o oh. zona de derrumbo. Oh. Es explosive. Maybe. Explos o explosive mater materials. Explosive material, okay. We are using our imagination, okay? okay. And number eight, hey, that is strange. I had never seen that. No idea, teacher. Number eight, uh, any I, idea? This uh, well, um, good, uh, low sailing. Es que se ve como que topa el techo, pero no. Teníamos esa idea, pero para traducirla, la... <laughs> No sé si es low o techo bajo o algo así. Low ah, ceiling. Low ceiling. Low ceiling. Ceiling, ceiling, ok. Low ceiling. Ah. Parece teacher que Maybe. está ocupando. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. ok. Ok, number nine. Um, no forklift. No forklift. Ok. Forklift. No forklift, don't use forklift. Okay, number 10. Do not camera. Do not. Use camera. Do not I use guess. camera, okay. Do not use camera. Or do not take pictures. Okay. Yeah, don't take pictures maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember the sentences. For you need you need to use a verb. Yeah, we must use a verb to make a sentence. Imperative sentences. Okay, and what about eleven? What is eleven? Don't crosswalk. Don't crosswalk. Crosswalk. Ah, don't crosswalk. Okay, don't crosswalk. Okay, number 12. Don't throw water. Don't throw water, ah, okay. Don't throw water to fire, okay. 13. 
Danger, poison. Danger. Dangerous. Okay, poison. Fourteen. No idea, right? It's very weird, strange. Okay, fifteen. No idea. No idea. Through Jerry. Draw Jerry. Oh, Caution. Trabajo. Elevation. Trabajo pesado. Carga o carga pesada. Cuidado con la carga pesada. Sería caution, teacher. Como cuidado con carga pesada. Caution. I think is. I think is the sign is showing the there are people using winch or words oh, okay winch. maybe uh -huh. like like uh, puerto de la libertad uh -huh. when they when they uh, grab the boats they leave the boats okay okay 16 what is 16 Oh, hey, Hayden. 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 Altura. Hate. Ah, hate. Um, okay. We are not sure. So we are just making up ideas, no? But sentences, okay? Sentences. You need to create sentences. Like caution with the with the height or cuidado con la altura. Puede ser. Uh, 17. It's a negative imperative. Uh -huh. Don't use a ladder. Yeah. Ladder, this is a ladder. Ladder. Uh-huh. Ladder. Stairs es escalera, pero así de, de, de como de, de cemento, ¿no? Esos son stairs. Ese tipo de escalera es ladder. Okay. 18. That's easy. Don't use uh, iPhone. Don't use, um, yeah, cell phones. Uh huh. Nineteen. What about nineteen? No um, idea. Don't run off. Don't don't drink water. Do not drink water. Uh huh. <laughs> Remember, negative sentences or imperatives. The verb is in the base form, so do not drink, do not walk, do not take photos, okay, base form. Okay, well, there are many, so what about the, because the red ones, the red ones are like prohibition, yeah, prohibitions. The yellow ones, we said that are Warnings or caution. Warnings. Mm -hmm. Warnings. The blue ones are must do. O sea, lo que se debe de hacer. Cosas que se deben hacer. Ok, por ejemplo, ¿cómo leeríamos uh, el 25? Está hablando de esto, ¿no? Use glass, glasses. Ah, ok, glasses. Solo que cuando hablamos de, de cosas que usamos así en el cuerpo. No sé. This is the glasses protector. Ajá. Uh -huh. So no decimos use, sino decimos wear. 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 Wear use. Okay. Uh, wear glasses. Wear glasses, ok. Wear glasses, okay. Or wear eye protection. Wear protector or protection um, 
ya um, ¿Cómo es que se les dicen a esos Googles? Ya yeah. Como el Google, famoso Google Ok, 26 El mismo, where Where uh, Casco, casco. How do you say casco? Sería un casco de protección. Ajá, en inglés. Helmet. 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 Yeah. Wear helmet. Something helmet must be worn this area. ¿Cómo, cómo? Safety helmet must ah, be uh -huh. worn this area. Ok, safety helmet. Must be worn, ok. 27. Air protection, mm. protector must be worn in this area. Ok. Ear protection, wear ear protection. Ok, 28. Use of mandatory face mask. Face mask, ok. Face mask. Face mask. Um, so 33, same wear, wear boots, maybe yeah. 34. Use hands, uh, mandatory hands protection. Mandatory hand protection. Okay. Okay, and we can continue. So the idea it was to uh, just show you that there are a lot of symbols or signs and every sign represents an order or, a, or, or um, an instruction yeah, or an invitation also. Okay, and we use imperatives and remember as we studied uh, last night, imperatives well, let me. Go back here. Yeah, como vimos ayer, imperatives. We can use imperatives to give orders, to give instructions on signs, to give warnings, to make an invitation and to give advice. In those cases, we use imperative. And if you observe, the verbs are in the base form, always. Look, um, calm, calm, take, push, pull, give, stay, so no decimos staying or giving the, the verb in the base form. Base form. Have, come, take, open. The negative, don't sit, don't smoke. Go home, tell. So the verbs for imperative, the verb is in the base form. Y otra cosa que dijimos, no se usa, no hay sujeto. No decimos you. He, she, na. Instructions. Okay. So that was a short, a quick review of last night's class. Let's erase all the drawings. And let's move on to tonight's class. Oh, I forgot tonight's quote. Let's practice. Uh, tonight's quote, okay? Tonight's quote says, the difference, oh, let me move this. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is just that little extra. Remember that. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary 
is just that little extra. Can you repeat after me, please? The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is just that little extra. Repeat, please. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is just that little extra. Okay. Good. One more time. Listen and repeat. Yes? Word just is just or just? Just. 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 Yeah. Please remember okay. there is a, is, is a sound between a u just. Yeah. Okay. The difference. Okay. Repeat again. Re Listen and repeat. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is just that little extra. The difference, the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is just that little extra. extra. Okay. So, if you want to be extraordinary and not simple ordinary an ordinary worker an ordinary father an ordinary son an ordinary daughter if you don't want to be just ordinary and you want to be extraordinary you must give a little extra yes you you cannot do the same as everyone does and want to be and want to be different. You know what I mean? If you want to be different, if you want to be extraordinary in everything or in anything at work, in your family, in your uh, community, in Play your, soccer. Uh, yes, in your sports, in your hobbies. So if you want to be better than the others, if you want to be different, you need to give more. Yes, you need to do more. Okay, now let me talk about this um, controversial topic. So, the, what is the one difference that I think, I believe? What is the difference between Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo? For me, it's simple. The two of them are extraordinary but Messi is talented he has the talent ability he has perfectioned his ability with practice but Ronaldo is more disciplined yeah that guy is disciplined disciplined this him is not no es tan talentoso como Messi, you know, but it's discipline. Y dicen por ahí que la disciplina al final Excelente. vence al talento. Discipline defeats talent. So la historia de la tortuga y la liebra, ¿no? Discipline versus talent. So to be extraordinary, you need that little extra. You want to be extraordinary in English? You need to give that little extra. Yeah, extra. Okay. I am very philosophical today. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, but that's true. That's true. 
And, and that is a problem with this generation, with this crystal generation. They don't want effort. You know what I mean? Comprenden lo que digo, esta generación de cristal. Mm, no. Todo lo quieren así va. No. Extraordinary. Sí. Effort. Sí, sí. Yeah. Okay. okay. Very good. Uh, later, I will ask you for that quote. Okay. Tonight, we are going to continue with this lesson always talking about manufacturing and tonight's objective is discuss and write about the equipment of my company hmm. well we talk a little bit about this last night what type of equipment is there at your company do you use it why well last night we talked a little bit about that equipment that you have in your company, machinery or equipment. So let's go directly to the conversation, okay? Because we need to practice a lot. Let's go directly to the conversation. Okay. Here it is. So listen, I'm going to read, pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? Is the converse, it's a conversation between Peter and Bertha. Bertha, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? Because if we do so, we reduce costs. I see. I think that we would do what other companies are doing. And that is getting new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the 21st century. Right, maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Okay, now please listen and repeat after me. Bertha, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? Bertha, Bertha do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? I believe so. Why do you ask? Because if we do so, we reduce costs. Because if we do so, we reduce costs. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that is? And that is, that is getting new equipment. Getting new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the 21st century. Right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Right. right. Maybe, Maybe we should talk about, talk about, that, about that, that in the, the next meeting. meeting. The new meeting. Okay. Remember this word mm. should. The L, the L is mute. Remember that, okay? The L is mute. Should. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's a soft sound. Es un sonido suave. No es should. No. Should. Should. Okay. Yes. 
I know in, in Spanish we don't have that sound. No lo hacemos en español ese sonido, ¿verdad? Eso solo está en, en el... En náhuatl. Y ya no lo usamos. Ok. El shh. Entonces, uh, tenemos que aprender a usarlo, ¿no? Should. No should. Should. Ok. Yes. Ok. Now, let's practice now. I am Berta. No, I am Peter. And you are Berta. Ok. okay. I begin. Berta, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. so. What do you ask? You ask? You ask? <laughs> because if we do so, we reduce costs. I see. I, see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that is? Right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Good. Remember this number? It's 21st. 21st. Ordinal First. number. Okay. It's 21st. not 21. 21st. This is 21st. 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 Yes. 21st century. Okay. Now you are Peter and I am Bertha. Okay. So you begin. One, two, three. I believe so. Why do you ask? I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that is getting new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the 21st century. About that in the next, next meeting. Okay. So if you see the difference, this is machines ya yeah. un sonido más fuerte machines machines a diferencia de should ok should machines should machines ve la diferencia no decimos no decimos machines no le la ch, ch verdad Machines. Ok. Um, Teacher, pronunciación equipment, equipment, dijo equipment. No, equip, equipment. Equipment. Yes, equipment. equipment. Mm -hmm. Ok. Thank you. What is I mean? I am trying to say something. Mm -hmm. Yo creo. I mean. Uh, quiero decir. Oh, quiero decir. Ah, oh, yo pienso. Yo quiero decir, quiero decir lo que quiero, quiero decir. Okay. Es. ¿Verdad? Por ejemplo, por, por ejemplo, cuando yo les digo, you know what I mean? ¿Saben lo que quiero decir? ¿Saben a qué me refiero? Es decir. Yeah, I mean. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Oh, what do you mean? What do you mean? ¿Qué quieres decir? 
¿No? ¿A qué te refieres? Algo así. Ok. Uh, any question with this conversation? Mm. Ok. But now. Let's see. There are three, two questions here about the conversation. And you have to say if these statements are true or false. Do not respond, okay? Just think about this. How is the manufacturing process in your company? What do you think about the equipment at your company? Does this need to be upgraded? Why? Esto no es de verdadero y falso. <laughs> Olvídense de esto de verdadero y falso. Because these are questions for you. Okay. Entonces, oh, forget about true or false. No, esto no es de... Esto no es de true or false. Aquí les preguntan. About you. How is the manufacturing process in your company? Okay. Is, is new, is modern, is old is oh, whatever and number two what do you think about the equipment at your company does this need does it need to be upgraded what is upgraded to to be in the next step in technology or whatever Actualizada, teacher. Sí, como actualizado, ¿verdad? Upgraded. Uh -huh. Al siguiente nivel, como dice eh, Galileo. Upgrade. So, lo vamos a mejorado, ¿no? Mejorar. Okay. Does it need to be upgraded? Why? Ok, so, uh, I'm going to send you in pairs to work. First, uh, Oh, to do do where is okay first i want you to practice the conversation okay practice 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 the conversation in pairs and second you are going to respond these questions discuss and respond these questions about your company about your company okay Let's form the groups. Okay, so you're going to work in pairs. See you in 10 minutes. Practice the conversation, please. Varias veces, several times, and respond the questions.
Sí. En su caso tampoco va, no fabrican nada. No, no es un colegio, no. Uh -huh. No lo voy a dejar que no. Sería. No, no, Como lo dejaría en My Company, Not Process de Manufactory. En la dos. Sí, nos quedamos después practicando. Ok. Ok. Um, I start. How is. The manufacturing process in your company. Uh, in my country, process the uh, manufacturing is uh, finally product. You no so process, in, uh, mm -hmm. You don't have process in your company. No, no process manufacturing. No manufacturing process. Maybe. This is uh, um, the company's equipment is very modern. It doesn't need to be great. Vaya. <laughs> Yo le. No me Y en my company only have computing. Uh -huh. Can you see? How is the fact manufacturing process in your company? In my company? Mm. <laughs> in my, in my company is not is not manufacturing because is Robert. Hello, teacher. La página quince, verdad? Hello, hello. Mi mouse está dando muchos problemas. Ser cómo hago para escribir aquí. Me da el, el pincelito me dio y eso no lo quiero ir. No. Una T de texto. Ok. Hello. Hola, teacher. Mire, fíjense que, bueno, no, no hemos trabajado en, en fábricas de manufacturar procesos. Ok. So. Solo te, no, no contestamos eso, solo que no facturing processing in mi company. Yeah. <ríe> ok, teacher. Ah, pues lo contestaremos así, teacher. No tenemos procesos así de, de manufacturing. Ok. Ok. Sí, porque el servicio es lo que hacemos y lo único que actualizan son los pro programs de computer eh, que, que, que guay, ¿no? ¿cómo sería? ¿Qué? That use in the world. <laughs> ok. De okay. computer. De computer, actualización de programas en the computer. Ah, entonces uh, ahí puede ser como una compra de programas. Both the, the, By the program. No sé cómo eh, se llama, cómo, eh. cómo correrlo, vea, o probarlo. Sí, porque la. 
pasado le va a poner. Ok. En my case, uh, the machine, no, the, the equipment, no, equip, equipment, equipment mm -hmm. is, 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 ¿cómo se dice? Vanguardia, a la vanguardia. T-shirt. Hello. Uh, what do you say, vanguardia? Vanguardia. Está a la vanguardia o está, eh, eh, no sé, como es lo más nuevo o es lo más reciente. Uh, top notch. Uh, again, please. Top notch. Top notch. How much? Notch. Notch. N O T C H. Top notch. Yeah. Or ah, in this sense, top -notch. state. Hay otra frase que usan state of the art. State. State of the, of the art. The art. What do you mean? Sí, cuando es algo así de de último de última generación de última generación ¿no? state of the art ok thank you teacher entonces the, the equipment the, the equipment used be the company is a top notch. El, el equipamiento usado en la compañía es de, de primera categoría o lo último, lo top top. Mm. In your case, your company eh, eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Utiliza. Okay, welcome back. Um, I like to hear some of you practicing the conversation, okay? So let's see. Let's start with group number two. Rodrigo and Catherine. Okay. Berta. Do you think that our company should improve the monthly process? Catherine. 
Wait, I believe so. Why do you ask? Because if we do soon, we reduce, reduce cost. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. Uh, that is. Getting new equipment, I mean, we should not have the same machine with the same program. We should be in 21st century. Right, maybe. We should talk about that in the next meeting. Okay, okay. perfect. Thank you. Now, <laughs> please, Galileo and Wendy. Wendy, you are Bert. Here, I am Berta. Okay. Go ahead, Wendy. Berta, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? Because if we do so, we reduce costs. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And there is? Very new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the 21st century. Right, maybe we should talk about that in, in the next meeting. Great. Excellent. Thank you. Now, Laura and Ivania. Okay. I, I am Berta. Okay. Uh, Peter. Okay. <laughs> Berta, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? Because if we do so, we reduce cost. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that is? Getting new equipment. I mean, we should know how the same machines with the same program, which should be in the 21st century. Right, maybe we should talk about that the next meeting. Okay. Very good, very good. Now, uh, Javier and Myra. Comience usted, Javier. Okay. Um, Berta. Do you think that your company should improve the manufacturing pros? I believe so. Why do you ask? Uh, because if we do so, we reduce cost. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that is? Getting new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machine with the same programs. We should be in the 21st century. Right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next, in the next meeting. Okay, very good, very good. Please, Frida and Mary. Teacher, se me trabado la compu, no puedo haber ido el documento. Okay. Okay, vamos, vamos a dejar en pausa por ahí un momento. Entonces, eh, Jonathan and Zaira. Okay. Okay. Uh, I am Peter. Um, I start. Berta, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? Because if we do so, if we do so, we reduce cost. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that is 
getting new equipment, I mean we should not have the same machine with the same program. We should be in the 21st century. Right, maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Okay, very good, very good. And now please, Anna Lillian and Brian. Great teacher. Brian is ahí. Diga presente. Okay. Berta, do you think that all companies should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. What do you do ask? Because if we do so, we reduce cost. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that, and that is? Getting new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the 21st century. Why maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Okay, okay. Um, well, did you fix, did your computer on? Yes. Is, is your computer working, Frida? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yo pregunto. Uh, how is the manufacturing process in your company? No, no, no. The conversation. Ah, sorry. sorry. Okay. I am Peter. Bertha, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? Because if we do so, we reduce costs. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that is? Getting new equipment. I mean, we should not have to, the same machine. With the same program, programs, we should be in the 21st century. Right, maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Okay, very good, very good. Um, so, one more time people, just be careful with some words in the conversation, okay? Let me show you one more time. Yeah, let me review some words, pronunciation of some words, okay? Remember, should, should, no es should, ni should, verdad? Esta o u se pronuncia como una sola, un solo sonido. U, should. La L no suena. Recuerden que es lo mismo, ya lo hemos visto, que could, would. ¿Verdad? Es el mismo sonido. Es una U sin la L, ¿no? Should. Eh, algo parecido acá con talk. Por ahí algunos todavía me pronuncian esta L, ¿verdad? Dicen talk. No, no, no. Talk. Como caminar también. Walk. ¿Verdad? Esa L no suena. Eh, ¿Qué otra palabrita? Esta. Algunos les dio problema. Improve. Improve. Ok. Um, también esta, por ahí escuché. Equipment. La fuerza de voz va aquí en. Aquí. Equipment. No es equipment, 
¿verdad? Es equipment. Um, también esta palabrita. Same. Same. Ok. Bien, con las palabritas que vi por ahí un poco de mejorar. Ok, bueno, más tarde les grabo la conversación ahí en el WhatsApp para que la practiquen. Ok, I need to take the second attendance. So please, cameras on and ready to say present. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you. Brian Javier Carmona. Present. Excellent. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro. Absent. Frida Janine Mejia. Present teacher. Good. Javier Aldair Escobar. Present teacher. Excellent. Jose Arnoldo Mazariego. Absent. Jose Galileo Barrera. Present. Good. Jose, Jose Jonathan Vigil. Present. Ok. José Rodrigo Hernández. Present. Good. Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Present teacher. Excellent. Laura Carolina Vigil. Present teacher. Good. María Concepción Cerón. Present. Good. María Ivania Palma. Present teacher. Excellent. Mauricio Antonio Orellana, absent. Mauricio Antonio Rivera, absent. Mayra Veralice Moreno. Present. Ajá. Too much vacation, Mayra. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Rocío Lourdes Pimentel, absent. Zaira Marlene Larín. Present teacher. Good. And Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Perfect. Okay. Well, let's continue. So if you see, we are going to study again to refresh uh, the use of should. Okay. Wow. Let's get should here we have this should is a mobile verb to give advice is a mobile verb to give advice or talk about what we think is right or wrong Talk about what we think is right or wrong. Remember the structure for this uh, sentences. We use subject plus should or should not in negative sentences plus the verb in the base form plus complement, okay? So this is the structure for sentences with should. Look, we should upgrade our system. We should upgrade our system. Subject, we should upgrade is the verb the complement our system. They should bring new equipment. Subject should verb complement. They should bring new equipment. So remember the verb is in the base form. No upgrading, no bringing, no bring. Then the negative form, recuerdan, solo le agregamos el not. No, we should not continue, de nuevo, el verbo en forma básica. 
with the same market, this company should broad its target. So, esto ya lo habíamos visto en módulo anteriores. Esto es un ref refresh, ¿ok? Bien. Entonces usamos should para give advice. ¿Qué es advice? A ver, ¿quién me dice? Publicidad. No, eso es advertisement. Consejo. 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 Advertencia. No, no es advertencia. Consejo. Eso es, eso es warning, advertencia. Consejo. Ok. O para... <coughs> Como dice ahí, hablar cuando pensamos que algo está bien o mal. O sea, expresar opinión. <coughs> Eso sería opinión, ¿no? Your opinion. We should, we should buy new equipment, por ejemplo. Ok. Es opinión. <coughs> ok. Uh, veamos este ejercicio. <coughs> Complete the sentences using should or shouldn't. Ok, háganlo y lo revisamos en un momento. <coughs> Teacher, va a pasar lista. Ya la pasé. ¿Quién pregunta?
<clears throat> okay. Let's check. Number one. Oh, let me take the text. Okay. Who reads me number one? Our products? Should. Should. Okay. Our products should be fresh. Good. Number two. This company? Forget a what? Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Shouldn't forget about quality. Good. Yeah. yeah. Number three. Should. 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 Okay. Number four. Shouldn't. 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 The machinery shouldn't be old. And number five. Should. Should. Okay, perfect. Let's practice. Okay, repeat after me. Our products should be fresh. Our products should be fresh. Be fresh. This company shouldn't forget about quality. This company shouldn't forget about quality. We should explore new markets. We should explore new, new markets. The machinery shouldn't be old. The machinery shouldn't be old. All the employees should use the machinery. All the employees should use the machinery. Use the machinery. Okay, very good. Any questions so far? What's the meaning machinery? Machinery? What is machine? Como maquinari? Maquinaria. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. Now uh, let's me let me show you. Another activity. Okay, let me show you this first. Yeah, this is the, the affirmative, negative, and also questions we should. Okay, questions, remember. Should I go to the gym? Cuando está pidiendo consejo, opinión, advice, okay? Should I go to the gym? Should you drink more water? Should he do sports? So, preguntas, ¿verdad? Esta es la forma de comenzar las preguntas. Con should, should I, should you, should he, etc. Okay. Now, let me show you this, the next activity. Oh, come on. Okay, this one. Okay, you see these pictures? They are describing some situations, okay? Different situations. For example, look at number one. Number one says, I have a headache. Okay. Number two, I want to go to the cinema, but it's raining. Number three, I'm tired. Number four, I have a test tomorrow. Number five, I have seen my boyfriend or girlfriend 
with another girl or with another boy. I got a bad mark for English. I found a lot of money in the street. I'm thirsty. I want to buy a bike, but I don't have money. My mom has burned my dinner. I want to go uh, to England, but I don't know the language. And the older student bully me. Different situations, okay? So what I want you to do is write two sentences giving advice for each situation. One with should and one with shouldn't. Example, for example, number one, situation number one says, I have a headache. Yeah, that is situation one, I have a headache. Okay, so two sentences for situation one. A, you should take an aspirin. So my advice. And B, shouldn't, you shouldn't go to work. Okay, so for every situation, two sentences. One with an affirmative advice and the other one with a negative advice. O sea, no solo quiero que me la, por ejemplo, acá, no quiero que me hagan, you should take an aspirin, you shouldn't take an aspirin. No, eso no tiene sentido. ¿Verdad? Si no, le vamos a dar un consejo usando should de algo que debe de hacer, que debería hacer. Y otro consejo usa, usando shouldn't, algo que no debería de hacer para esa situación. ¿Está claro? Me, me di a entender. Yes, teacher. Ok, thank you. Bien, entonces... Uh, I'm going to share the picture in WhatsApp so you can work. Okay. Okay, there you go. It's, it is in WhatsApp already. Now, let me form the groups again. Well, the same groups, okay? Same couples work. See you later.
I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I stopped the sessions by mistake. I'm sorry, it was an error. Okay, so I'm sending you back. Keep working, sigan trabajando, por favor. Por error los, los traje. Pero Wayne es más sí, sure. Pero en tema del dicho. Hello. Queremos Tan poner bien. en la 2 queremos poner donde dice que va a ir al cine, que va a ir al cine, pero está ahí bien, entonces le queremos poner que debería ir en carro, debería debería ir al cine en carro para no mojarse, pero cómo le ponemos para no mojarse? Mm. But, es but, no. No, eso es pero. Pero. But, mm. es pero. Tú. Un carro. Oh. Ah, tú. Tú. Oh, don, ¿verdad? Sería. Car to don. Para no mojarse. To not. To not. Y mojarse, ¿cómo se dice? No. Must say, to not get wet. To not get wet. Wet. W-E-T, wet. To not get wet. No conseguir mojarse. Okay. ok, see you. Sí, es true. Um, you maybe. shouldn't. You shouldn't. You should. You shouldn't. You should not. Um. You should not. Um. Loves your time in the class, maybe. You should not. You should not. Lost your time in the class? You should not miss your class. Que no debería faltar la clase. No, yo no debería perder tiempo en clases. Ah, ok. También no debió faltar a clase. Podría ser que uh -huh. por eso es normal. You should not miss in tu class. Ajá, uh -huh, correcto. You should not miss your class. Mm -hmm. The English. Okay. You should not miss in the English class. Mm -hmm. How to study. No deberías ir al examen sin estudiar. Sí, puede ser. You should go to the study. Um, ¿Cómo sería sin estudiar? ¿Cómo se dice sin estudiar? We... Without studying. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. Um, you shouldn't go to go to the exam. The test. The test. Or the test. Uh -huh. You shouldn't go to test. The without. Test. Without. Studying. 
Study. Estamos las cinco que han mencionado lo que hay. I have seen my boyfriend or I have seen my boyfriend another girl. Girlfriend with another girl. Just... Oh, yeah. Say, Debería uh, ahorrarlo. Only, exactly. Just save, save it. You. That money. You should save you that show, money. You should save the money. The money. Yeah. Save, I see. Save the money. Yeah. Okay. You should not spend it in matching games. Ah, no gastárselo en la maquinita, digamos. Hello, teacher. Hello. No debería de distraerte, posible. Oh. Eh, o podría ser, you shouldn't worry, you get better, o you, como que vas a salir mejor en la próxima. Sacarás sí, mejor pero, nota. Pero vamos a hacer la negativa. Sí, pues sí. You shouldn't worry, o sea que no te preocupes, you get a better, eh, better que era. Mark, the next time. You shouldn't. You shouldn't worry. Sería así, ¿verdad, teacher? You shouldn't worry. Yes. You get a better mark the next time. Nada que sale peor. Mm. <laughs> ok, veamos. Seven, I found a lot of money in the street. You should... Uh, you should... You shouldn't, you shouldn't think bad. Yes. Think bad, ok. Estamos bien. La seis. Bad. La de, dice, your boyfriend. Ajá. Ah, al boyfriend. No deberías pensar mal. Your boyfriend. Your boyfriend. Por tu, por tu novio. Boyfriend. boyfriend. En la otra, en la seis sería I go. I go the bad mark. Ah, I go. Yo voy. Yo estoy mal. I go the bad mark. Mark, mark for English. Yo estoy mal en, la, en inglés, algo así. <ríe> Entonces, debería, debería de estudiar más. Tenemos que traducir que sería you show, you show, study more English, more or most, no, more, more, more English. To, to study more English. Debería estudiar más. Para tu clase, ah. en tu clase de inglés, no sí, sé. Yes. Tú de estar. Yes. O practice, o practice. Ah, debería de practice. Por English class. Yes. English. You should... Yes. 
Mira, fíjese que en la de que se encuentra, en la que sale el muñequito que se encuentra el dinero. Ajá. En la calle. Ajá, va. Nosotros con Javier le habíamos puesto a la primera, you should ask for the owner, como, como preguntar, va, debería de preguntar, va. En la otra, en lo que no tiene que hacer, este, habíamos dicho que no tenía que quedárselo con, o sea, no tenía que quedarse con el dinero. ¿va? Ajá. Ajá, pero este, para decirlo, no sé si está bien, you should keep it. Como no deberías de quedártelo. Ok, yeah. You pero should está... or you shouldn't. Shouldn't. Ay, sí. Eso. Sí. Así está bien. Keep it. <coughs> keep it. Ya, yeah, you shouldn't keep it.
Okay, welcome back, people. Okay, we don't have time to check. We are going to check tomorrow your work, okay? So I'm going to take the last attendance and tonight's session, uh, tonight's one-on-one -on -one session is with Frida. Okay, so she can stay 10 minutes, Frida. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> okay, Anna Lillian Reyes. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Anna Lillian. Brian Javier Carmona. Present. Okay, good night. Dinora Alejandra didn't show up today. Frida Janine Mejia. Present. Okay, see you in a moment. Javier Aldair Escobar. Present teacher. Okay, have a good night. Good night. Masariego didn't show up. Jose Galileo Barrera. Present. Good night. Good night, Galileo. See you tomorrow. Jose Jonathan Vigil. Present. Good night. Okay, good night. See you tomorrow. Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. Present teacher. Excellent. See good you night. tomorrow. Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Catherine. Laura Carolina Vigil. Present teacher. Thank you for coming. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Maria teacher. Concepcion Cerón. Present teacher. Okay, see you tomorrow. Good see night. You tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Maria Ivania Palma. Present teacher. Thank you. Good night, Ivania. Mauricio Hi, Antonio, Orellana, Mauricio Antonio Rivera, Mayra Veralice Moreno. Present teacher. Okay, see you tomorrow, Mayra. Okay, bye bye. Lucio Lourdes Pimentel, Zaira Marleni Larín. Present teacher. Thank good you night. For attending. Good night. And Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, Wendy. Bye-bye. Blessings. Blessings to you as well. Thank you. Okay, Frida, how are you? Tired, Hi. I guess. Tired. <laughs> and how is your mom? Is she okay? Yes. yes. Uh, okay. okay. Thank God. Okay, well, Frida, I don't know if you would like to review some topics. If si quisiera que revisemos algo. Mm, realmente ayer no estuve, así que no sé cuáles son los temas que han revisado ayer. Uh, bueno, si quiere lo vemos rápidamente. Vamos a ver. Todavía no me ha quedado tiempo de ver esa clase. Sí, claro. Ok, vamos a regresar acá. Ok, last night we studied the imperatives. Ok. And... We see this, so this, we can use imperatives to give orders, give orders, give instructions, mm -hmm. and on things, what is on things? Um, signs, signs, signs son eh, rotulos, como, ah, okay. como los que veíamos al principio, no? Okay, give warning, or oh, it's advertences. Make uh -huh. an invitation or, or give advice. Uh -huh. Advice, okay. Aquí tenemos algunos ejemplos, ¿no? The give orders. Come here at once. Uh -huh. Can you read the, the next one, please? Take a, a that gum out of, out of your mouth. Okay. Give instructions, take one pill every 12 hours. Yeah, you are familiar with this instruction. 
And the next, please. Take one, okay. Open your books on page 33. Yeah, so we give instructions. On signs like push, pull, give way, stay on your right. So give warnings. Can you read them, please? Don't sit on the beach bench. What is bench? Uh, una banca, como en un parque. Okay. Una banca. Eat with paint. Mm -hmm. Don't smoke it. Uh, don't smoke. It's bad for your health. Okay, very good. To make an invitation, for example, have some tea. It's still hot. Then the next one, please. Come in and sit down. We are having tea. Perfect. And to give advice. For example, go home and get some sleep. You look exhausted. Okay. And the other one, please. Tell me about your trip to Ireland. Okay. Perfect. And uh, if you see these imperative sentences, don't need subject. Okay? Oh. Don't need subject. So, no tenemos un sujeto acá. Y eh, otra cosa que el verbo, so you see the verb is always in, in base form. Okay? No decimos coming. Taking, nada, always in base form. Okay. No. ¿Cómo sabemos cuándo usar imperative? Porque en este caso son como mandatos, ¿verdad? Ajá. O... Uh -huh. Sí. Cuando vamos a dar todo. instrucciones, entonces, ok, ya entendimos, bueno. Exacto. ¿verdad? Todo lo que son instrucciones, por ejemplo, los que están de una receta, ¿no? Una receta de cocina. Todo eso son imperatives. ¿Verdad? Hierba el agua. Mida una taza. ¿so? Todos esos son imperatives. Instructions, orders. Y todo lo que hemos... Por eso veíamos, ¿verdad? Los... Los símbolos al principio, una práctica, ¿no? Algunos símbolos. ¿Verdad? Que nos, que nos hablan. Que son básicamente oraciones en imperativo, ¿verdad? Sí. Todos estos símbolos. Eh, también en el libro tenemos un ejemplo. De este libro. de cuando describimos procesos también es una imperativo ok por ejemplo el proceso para crear este chocolate no veo libros ¿no? veo, veo el mismo rótulo oh ok perdón ahora Si queremos describir el proceso de del, la fabricación de, de este chocolate, ¿no? Como son como el proceso, son instrucciones también. Se usan imperatives. Ah, o ya tiene más lógica el primer ejercicio que dejó la clase de hoy. Sí, son, son todos son imperatives. ¿Verdad? Aquí habría que poner en orden los diferentes pasos. Ok. Para crear el chocolate. Y esas oraciones son. Usamos el verbo en imperativo. Ok. Uh -huh. Aquí en esta conversación. Se ve por ejemplo. Cuando le están dando instrucciones a mis. Mr. Roland. ¿no? Miss Núñez is giving instructions about her. His job, lo que él debe hacer en el trabajo, ¿no? 
Todas estas son frases en imperativo. Okay. Pull, use your bottom, grab a pair of tongs, pick every piece of chocolate. Y como ves, siempre los verbos están en forma básica. Push, grab, pick, read, place, fill in. ¿Eh? Siempre. What is fill in? O como, eh, como fill in a re report. report. Uh -huh. Fill in a report es eh, llenar un reporte. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Hacer un reporte, no llenar un reporte. Ok, thank you. Ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp yo estoy poniendo los audios ¿verdad? de las ah, conversaciones. Ah, sí, sí, eso sí los oí. ¿verdad? Como para escucharlos y practicar. Ok, pues esto es lo que hemos, lo que vimos ayer. ¿verdad? Del imperativo. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Frida, that's all for tonight. Thank you. Good night. Thank you and see you tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.